All right, we've made some pretty darn good achievements in this game thus far. We've actually made it pretty far with the platinum challenges for Orion, which is honestly pretty freaking amazing considering how stressed I was at first with all this. So we've gotten the riot shield actually platinum. I said I wasn't gonna do this because the challenges seemed a little excessive, but then I actually decided to read. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, thus I cannot read. It says get 10 kill or two kills within 10 seconds of each other, 10 times. I thought that said double kills at first, unless they changed it. We got that done pretty easily to be perfectly honest. I'm happy we did, it wasn't that bad thankfully and uh yeah here's the platinum riot shield so i believe that on our list of things to do we've actually finished up all the ars as you can see i don't have any actually selected right now so that should tell you something i finished all the ars i finished all of the shotguns we finished all shotguns all smgs all ars all the melee weapons all pistols we finished one rocket launcher and we finished the riot shield today i'm thinking we might work a little bit on both the snipers and the tactical rifles now you can kind of play around with snipers i mean you don't really have to play hardcore for that you just kind of camp really and just <laughs> <laughs> just snipe people from across the map. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hop into some quick play or something. Just kind of mess around. I'm so happy I'm almost done with this part of the grind. These long shot challenges suck, dude. So we've got the Platinum Victus right here. You have to get 25 long shots where we're not 31 out of 51 on the Polyatomic, which is actually kind of crazy when I think about it. But uh, we finished all of the ARs, all of the SMGs, the shotguns. We're two out of five on the sniper rifles right now. We're working currently on the signal. We've got the Riot Shield Platinum. I'm honestly shocked I got this Platinum if we're being real here. But then, you know, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I don't know how to read, so I didn't really read the actual challenges for the Riot Shield. Only for me to discover that it just requires you to get two kills within 10 seconds of each other, which wasn't really that hard, honestly. Like, it was a little annoying, but other than that, I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, we finished the signal, actually. We're working on the SPX now, so we're two for five on the sniper rifles. I finished all the pistols. I finished the knife. I've got the RPG Platinum, so I've been basically using the Strello on pretty much every one of my classes. We're 13 out of five on this one. Once I finish the sniper rifles, we might just go into, like, shipment or something and uh, just pop shots at kill streaks in the air with this thing because a lot of people call encounter UAVs and other kill streaks and it's honestly not that hard really to get a platinum but I'm just happy we're almost done with this part of the challenge man the long shots suck they're not fun we really need shoot house back for these challenges because man are they boring we also have to work with the tac 5 which you know or the tag V I'm pretty certain it's supposed to be tac 5 I don't really know dude but that shouldn't be hard because the tac is actually really really a really really good gun let's go ahead and put the drum mag back on here and just go with that I mean uh I'm probably gonna have to build this thing to you know have a bit of a range on it let's see what kind of scopes can we even put on this thing we could put a, <laughs> a 12 times on it so for the ars and smgs my go-to site has been a where is it where is it where is it it's this one the six times right here this uh schlager night view this has been my go-to like this is the world's best site but it gets the job done man now the only reason i'm not playing ground war is because it's extremely boring to record ground war concept when i'm trying to do camel grinding I and mean, i guess i could but you know, it doesn't get any less boring, I guess, than, uh, our core. Ignore those shots. Do we have cold-blooded on this class? We do. All right, we have cold-blooded on to avoid other people with the thermals. But we might actually have to use ground war for the snipers when I think about it, because they actually require you to be, I think, at least 50 meters out. All right. That map is the worst map to get any kind of, you know, attachments or camels done on, and you can't change my mind. And it's the most populous map in hardcore, I'm noticing. I don't remember how many meters out it is for sniper rifles. I'm pretty certain it's at most 34? Might be, might be 50? Might be, uh, I know that's such a large jump going from 50 or 34 to 50. But you know what? Look, man, I don't remember. All right, cut me some slack. We're just gonna stand right here. Wait for some kind of nerd to walk by. And this is why I say I think the long shot challenges are probably the worst. They're just boring. You do a lot of camping for them. And I look away and immediately get shot. That right there is what the kids on TikTok will call a skill issue because... Uh, dude, this is gonna be pain. But the battle rifles, uh, you know, now that I think about it, though, there are a lot of guns that actually need long shot challenges to be completed. Yeah, pretty much all of the base game guns need some kind of long shot challenge. Ever so slightly. I think that should be two. At the most, it definitely should be one. I, what, I, th what, th there's another one over there? Does he have like a freaking, what is that, attack insert? I have now opted into playing ground war for the long shots. The long shots have to be genuinely the most boring challenge probably in Call of Duty history. I'm over here just camping out in the middle of fucking the desert. 
still don't know how I don't hit that guy right there, but whatever, I guess. There's a guy ch camping in this room that I've been waiting for him to re peek his head over and over. I wonder if I can shoot his mine right here. Nope, okay, I guess I guess not. But the long shot challenges for the sniper rifles probably are, are, gotta be the most boring challenge in the game. And it's not even close. Right, why can't I put this down here? Cause you just gotta do some excessive camping, man. I'm just not a camping kind of guy, you know what I mean? Nice shot right there. Nice shot right there. Nice shot right there. Nice shot right there. Nice shot. Okay, well, now they're just lining up for me. I think I literally just got shooting out probably like 10 long shots right there. But now we have no ammo. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come right back here though. Where are we at? Um, Are there any ammo crates nearby? There's one to my left over here. All right, that only gave us not even a full, like, wow, that didn't give us our full ammo at all. They gave us 15 bullets. You just got to spawn trap them just like we were doing. They just hide in that bush. Another kill. That's it. Just line up for me. Oh, sweet. We got all of our long chests done like it was nothing. Did we just trade? We just traded. <laughs> Get iron sides, what in the world? That is without a doubt the most long shots I've ever gotten one sitting on a sniper rifle. They literally just kept lining up for me. And I, you know what? I ain't mad about it. We gotta use the other sniper rifles, the LAB or whatever it is. All right, so there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go with this. I guess the eight round mag, because we don't really have that much ammo to begin with. Lunch resistance, sprint to fire, we don't want that. Stock, do we need a, do we have a better stock? We don't really have any good stocks on here. Under barrel, I guess we're gonna want a bipod like we were just using. I kid you not though, that had to have been at least 15 long shots from sitting on that side of the map literally just holding that angle or it does help that we have this uh, scope that makes it so you can see long range start or like where your bullet drop is going to be i don't know what kind of words i'm trying to say it's currently five in the morning i took a decent little nap uh i guess if you want to call it a nap but i got some good rest last night man i was tired from instacarting all morning and ubering and stuff in the evening you know, i got myself a little nice crispy workout is that friendly All right, that answers that question. All we gotta do is aim towards the enemy spawn, pretty much, and just wait for them to come outside. Now, I know coming outside is hard for gamers, and I think, we, ooh, I think we're actually right next to the hill that I was just at, so you're gonna throw a smoke grenade out. You know what, nope, I don't care about the guy. I'm just here to get the long shots, and we are right where we just were, too. Perfect, okay. All right, so that guy's going over here to the far right. I wonder if he's going to try to flank around or something. We might want to try to clear him out. Yep. When I say I'm literally like zoomed into my monitor right now, like I am focused up just right here or not. That's actually not a bad shot. Holy cow. I just heard somebody scream. Okay, we're just going to back off of there and retreat into the nice comfortable smoke of our bots over here because we're afraid not bad i think that was like two or three three something like that okay a couple more kills down actually we're actually doing pretty damn good right now Yep, just hold it. Just hold it right there. 200 meters out. Come on, peek. Oh, uh, this 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 scope is a cheat code, really. It makes life just easy. But this is definitely going to be my go-to spot for the future if we get any more snipers in the game. So I get these long shots just kind of easy, really. I think I see an enemy vehicle coming over here. Yep, they're coming for me. Just going to camp it out right here. There's two vehicles over here. I cannot tell if they want me or not. And if they do, well, we're, we got a problem, gentlemen. Okay, it looks like they're kind of screwing off to go do the thing, which is fine with me, man. Okay, you know what? We're going to cut our losses here, gentlemen. And back up and go get more ammo because we have none right now. Oh! I didn't think it was going to hit that. I think I should probably check behind me. Okay. 
immediately peek and all I hear is sniper bullets pinging off the wall. I'm so scared, dude. Ah, they finally, finally got me. After many attempts, they finally got me. That guy actually let a shot, which is kind of impressive, really. Uh, I think we need 20 more long shots, and then we're done with the, with the sniper rifles. The only thing that's really going to be annoying with snipers is the headshots. Oh, dude, that's going to be pain. I mean, not that headshots are, you know, a difficult thing to get done with a sniper rifle, but that's just going to be one of those other time-consuming things. So that means I'll probably do, like, I don't know, the sniper rifle and probably the pistols last just to save myself the trouble i got a few long shots done in some public matches earlier but i don't know it wasn't it wasn't as satisfying okay got a headshot wow all right Ooh. Yeah, this diet really does help a ton, honestly. We're being real here. I don't care if it takes no skill. I'm not here for skill. I'm here for long shots, bro. I shot the guy on the side and I got a headshot. Okay, anybody else? Jesus, that scared the ever living hell out of me. Oh, he's just staring at me the whole time. Not seeing any, wait, I think I just saw a guy. Wow, dude, soon as, what the hell is he? Oh, he's using a spotter scope. Interesting. I'm honestly just gonna grenade myself. I don't wanna run to the other side of the map right now. But wait a minute, does that actually like legitimately work, spotter scope? It's just gonna spawn me right back here again. Every time I see a motherfucker right as I'm about to pull the trigger, I get popped in the head. That's just life. What are you supposed to do about that, you know? Imagine you get sniped out of the air while parachuting down. <laughs> what a way to go, dude. What? One more and we are done with this thing. One more and then we are done. I just literally, you know what? I don't even gotta be fancy with it. I don't gotta go out all on the other side of the map and all that shit. Let's just find some poor sap just walking down the middle of this street like a Chicago. And we're done. I think I just crashed my game. I think I broke the game. <laughs> I think I did too much. Yup, there it is. <laughs> Scan and repair. <laughs> oh, it's done. It's over. We got all these sniper rifles platinum, and we're now 34 out of 51 for polyatomic. Meaning, meaning, we literally only need 17 more weapons before we can actually start working on the polyatomic uh, challenges. So, the snipers are all finished. The snipers done, shotguns, SMGs, ARs. We need battle rifles, LMGs, and marksman rifles for the primary weapons category. That's not going to be hard. These are some of the easiest to use guns in the game except maybe for the tack i'm gonna go make some breakfast i'm starving thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like on it sub to the channel and i'll see you later peace